Hey guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex and on this video I'm going to show you how to download apps to your old iPad. In this case I have the iPad mini 1 that it was launched on 2012. This device is almost 9 years old, 512 of memory, so half a gig, but some people still using it, right? What is the lastest iOS version supported on this device? We have iOS 9.3.5. In 2021 we are running iOS 14.4. What's the problem with this iPad? When we go to the App Store and we want to download an app, let's say Netflix, what happened when we try to download Netflix? Okay, so we're gonna click here. Unable to purchase. Netflix is not compatible with this iPad. So this is a bummer, right? So what we can do? How can we download Netflix on this iPad? Because probably we want to give this iPad mini one to our kids, you know, so they can watch YouTube videos, they can watch movies. We're going to use this like a media device. The trick is downloading the app on another Apple device with a higher iOS. To give you an example, this is the iPhone 6S. This iPhone came in 2015, so it's pretty old too. In this iPhone, we can still have the latest iOS. In this case, it's 14.3, but I already have an update here for 14.4. So February 2021, this is the latest iOS, 14.4. But even with 14.3, we can do the trick. So how's the trick? We're gonna log in to our iCloud account. In this case, it's suamigoalex at gmail.com. This is my iCloud account. And I'm gonna download the app that I want to download here. So any app that we want to use on the iPad mini one, we're gonna download it first on this iPhone because we have the latest iOS. So in this case, we want Netflix. We're gonna search for Netflix. And here we have it, Netflix. So we're gonna click on that download and it's gonna download Netflix on this iPhone. Okay, we open it and now we have Netflix. Of course, we need an account or we need a friend with an account, right? And then we want to download also Zoom, all right? Of course, we're not gonna have any problems here because we are running the latest iOS. So we should be able to download any app pretty much, okay? So that's Zoom. Any apps that we need on this iPad mini one, we're gonna download it here first. Then once we finish downloading the apps we need, we're gonna log in with the same Apple account to this iPad. And let me show you just to make sure that it's the same Apple account. Here you can see the same Apple account. Alex Zuniga, su amigo Alex at gmail.com. That's my iCloud account. Once we log into the same Apple account, instead of trying to download the app from here, we're going to click on this icon that it says purchase. We click on there. And here we're going to see all the apps that we bought or download on the account doesn't matter what device we got it from. Here's going to be a list of all the apps that we ever downloaded. And here you can find, for example, Netflix, right? Now, this is a trick. Instead of clicking here or the logo, if you click the logo, look what's going to happen. Unable to purchase. So I was saying that instead of clicking the icon or the text here, you're going to click this icon. Look at this, this one. Click there. This is another message. So it's saying, do you want to download the last compatible version? This version of Netflix is not compatible with this device, okay? So they're pretty much telling us the latest version is not compatible with this device, but there is a version that was compatible with this device a while ago. Do you want to download that version? And the answer needs to be download. So it's going to download the last compatible version with the iPad mini. Okay, so it says open. We're going to open it. Again, you need to have an account or a friend that gave you the account, right? And you can go here on the iPad and you can see that the app is downloaded. Let's try it with YouTube, right? Let's try it the regular way, like by searching YouTube. And again, if you click the icon, it's gonna say unable to purchase, right? If you click here, it's gonna say unable to purchase. What you need to do is you need to go here on the purchase icon. And from here, I want this one, YouTube. And again, instead of clicking on the icon, then it's gonna say unable to purchase you need to click on this iCloud icon, the one that is outside, all right? Click there, and it's gonna say, do you want to download the last compatible version? You're gonna say, download. And that's it, guys. Now, people are gonna say, hey, I want to download something, but I don't see it here on my purchase. Yes, because you first need to download it here. If you want it on the iPad mini, you need to download it here first on the Apple device with a newer iOS version. And a lot of people asking me, is this app compatible? Is this app compatible? Unfortunately, I don't have the time to test every single app. That's up to you guys. I mean, I'm just showing you a way to do it. My advice is try it with the way I'm showing you. Hopefully you can do it. There are certain apps that will not be compatible with this device because they are too new or they are too sophisticated that they demand a really powerful device. Okay. In this case, it just finished downloaded YouTube. We're going to open it. 
and we have YouTube. A lot of people are gonna say, hey, but I don't need to download the YouTube app to watch YouTube. I can just go to the Safari browser and use it from there. Yes, that's true but a lot of people prefer the YouTube app instead of the regular browser. In the case of Netflix, you will not be able to use Netflix on the browser. So not every single app would allow you to use the browser to use it. So a lot of people are gonna ask for Microsoft Teams, right? Let me see if I have Teams here. If I go to the regular channel, it's gonna say unable to purchase. If I go to the purchase tab, I have Microsoft Teams here. And look at this, this is the message that I was telling you guys. This application requires iOS 12.0 or later. So it's telling you that you're not gonna be able to run it on 9.3.5. So anybody that wants to use Microsoft Teams on the iPad mini one is not gonna work, all right? Because you need iOS 12 or up. What else, Zoom is gonna work. I tried already. Disney Plus, let's try Disney Plus. Enable to purchase. If we try to do the trick with Disney Plus, let's see what happened. We're gonna go to purchase here purchase and we're going to look for disney plus here and we're going to click not the icon but here boom and look at this the message i was telling you this application required ios 12 or later so disney plus is not going to work for the ipad mini one unfortunately we need ios 12.0 so there's no way around this another thing a lot of people tell me i don't have a secondary device i don't have an iphone i don't have an apple device with a higher iOS, what can I do? All I can tell you is that you can ask a friend or a family member, you just need the 6S or the 5SE. This iPhone 6S is from 2015. So we're talking about six years old and you can still get the latest iOS. So this is one of the main difference between iOS and Android. iOS is always gonna support older devices than Android. Let's say I have this iPad mini one and then I don't have a secondary device. Then I'm gonna ask my friend. And let's say my friend or my family member has the iPhone 6S. I'm gonna make sure that whatever account is here, you know, this is my account, but this might be your friend's accounts or your family member account. I'm gonna download the apps I need here. And with this same account, either yours or your friend's, you're gonna log in here. With your friend's account, you're gonna log in here. Make sure your friend is next to you because Apple is gonna ask for a code, any verification code. So it's better if you have your friend next to you. So let's say you're gonna use your friend's account on the app store. You're gonna download any apps you need with the trick I just show you. And then you're gonna log out of your friend's accounts. The apps that you downloaded with your friend's accounts are gonna still be here. Once you sign out of iCloud, the apps you downloaded with that iCloud account, they don't disappear. They stay in the iPad, okay? So that's a trick that you probably don't know, but it is true. So you can ask for a friend's account and do the trick. Shouldn't be any problem. So that concludes the tutorial, how to download apps on older devices. This is the iPad mini one. Thank you so much for staying until the end. If you want to help me, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That's the best way you're gonna support my channel and that will allow me to continue doing videos for you. Thank you so much and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.